Peachy, Christina here. Remember a few videos ago when I told you to save the carrot peels and the onion skins and the parsley stalks in a baggie in the freezer? Okay, well today I'm going to show you how to use those. And you're gonna use those by making a chicken broth, a chicken stock. If you don't eat meat, you can always eliminate the chicken or the meat bones and then just do a fantastic veggie broth just as it is but this is so healthy so cheap you don't have to go buy broth in the store anymore the broth in the store is filled with all these preservatives and salt this one here is how you make it so i'm going to show you what to do right here i have my frozen bag of veggies that i told you about so i tend to fill it up all the way and then when i have a whole bag then i i it's time for me to make the broth. So as you can see, I have some carrots, some parsley, I have some celery in there, some onion skins. Um, here, I have some frozen chicken bones. Now, sometimes I'll roast a chicken, and sometimes I'll purchase a rotisserie chicken from the store. Either way, what I do is I clean all the bones as best as I can, or if I'm feeling uh, not that inspired, I'll just leave the meat on the bones, and I'll put them in the freezer for later. And then I have uh, just a little one bay leaf and some peppercorns, maybe about a teaspoon of whole peppercorns. Then I have some parsley stalks, which I used earlier today that I just put in a bowl for, for today's soup day. And I have some parsley. I store my herbs in a plastic glass in the refrigerator filled with water. Uh, I find that they stay best that way. So this is some parsley that's looking a little bit long in the tooth. It's been in the refrigerator a little too long. So I'm going to use this today as well. Then optional is apple cider vinegar. You don't have to use this, but um, if you want a little bit more probiotic, a little bit more immune booster, you can add about maybe a quarter cup to the whole entire pot. I have an instant pot, but if you don't have an instant pot, that's fine. You can make this also in a crock pot. If you don't have a crock pot, that's fine. You can just make it on your stove top in a big pot. So I'm gonna use my instant pot for today, and then I will show you what I put in there, and it's super fast and super simple. Okay, here we are. I took out the inner pot of my instant pot, and I put it in the sink, and now we're gonna start making the soup. So again, there's really no exact science here. Just a handful of chicken bones, whoops, chicken bones. And like I said, if you're not a meat eater, no problem. You can just make it with the veggies. Uh, right. And that's, I think, all that I'm gonna do for now. Okay. Then I have my veggies. First, I'm going to use the parsley that I chopped earlier. And then here is my baggie of frozen veggies. So I have some carrot peels in here, some onion skins, celery. I also have mushroom caps. I'm not sure where in there they are. I don't know, maybe about two big handfuls or three little handfuls. That's all I did. I'll put in one bay leaf and then just a teaspoon of peppercorns. Now, the thing about the apple cider vinegar, I'm going to put some in today, just about a quarter cup. That's it. And the thing about the apple cider vinegar is when you cook the soup, it'll smell really sour, but you won't be able to taste it when it's done. So just a caveat. Cooking the soup, it'll smell sour, but don't worry because it won't taste sour after you cook it, but the, the smell will fill up your house. So now I'm going to just fill the pot with water, and here's my maximum line right here. Just stir it around with your hands a little bit. All right, I'll be putting it in the Instant Pot next. This is what it looks like in the pot. So if you do have an Instant Pot, what I do is I just click on the soup broth button and it'll cook for four hours. Okay, while the soup is cooking, I just wanted to let you know about some things that you can do with the broth. If you have leftover broth, which I think you might, you can freeze it, which is what I do. I also use it for cooking things too. So if I have some, um, I don't know, veggies, I'll pour some broth in there. Making rice with broth is really, really cool. And uh, next week I'll give you a video on how to make rice with the broth that we made today. Um, soup, just endless possibilities. It's cheap, it's healthy, it's good for you, especially when you make your own, and really the sky's the limit. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about, those frozen vegetables in the baggie that I mentioned, four vegetables, parsley stalks or fresh parsley, doesn't matter, onion skins, carrot peels, celery, 
and mushroom. Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five vegetables in the baggie. I wouldn't really add any more different vegetables in there like broccoli and cauliflower. They would make the soup taste a little bit bitter. Uh, asparagus, I wouldn't really do that either. So just the five that I mentioned, they'll make a great broth just by themselves. If a recipe calls for water, you can add broth as a substitute. See my black eye? It's getting better, isn't it? I know. And four hours went by and I went for a bicycle ride with my family and I'm back and the soup or the broth is done. I'll show you. Doesn't look like much now because I didn't strain it, but after I strain it, I'll show you another picture. All right, here it is. It doesn't look pretty, but after I strain it, it will be ready to go. Homemade broth. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, folks, I'm gonna strain the broth now. And here it is, it's all strained and in my container. Uh, you can either freeze it or use it, and it'll be good in the freezer for maybe the next six months. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up, and ciao for now. Can you believe this? I just put batteries in this thing, and it poops out on me. In the middle of a show. Aziz, more light! <laughs>